Yo, what is good everyone? It is your boy OJ here coming at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the sweet, uh, the goodness that was The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, the Wolf Link Amiibo pre-order baby that transferred over the content over to The Legend of Zelda Wii U, that little six seconds of high quality blade waving in the grass footage that just made me say I just seriously just had like the chills when I saw that Legend of Zelda 30th anniversary going down next year we've got the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD dropping on March 6th dropping on March 6th so that is going to be freaking amazing and another thing that I actually even forgot to mention in my last video on Square Enix with Final Fantasy is that we have a special Smash Bros event that's going down in December so make sure you watch my Final Fantasy 7 video as far as Cloud Strife Make sure you watch that so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we got a special Smash Bros. announcing going down in December. But back to The Legend of Zelda. That's how hype I am. I'm, I'm just floating from one video to another. My mind is going all over the place. But The Legend of Zelda, I'm really liking the bundle. You get the Wolf Link Amiibo bundle with the game. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be $59.99. That stuff's going to be able to transfer over content to the next game. And while it doesn't look so much better, obviously, it is an HD port. Um, probably with some retexturing here and there and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if they actually re completely remade the assets for certain stuff. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know yet. But um, it's not like Wind Waker HD. But it still is going to be a better looking game. I can see that there's definitely more detail. It definitely looks better than the Wii release and the GameCube release because those were just SD. This is going to be probably full 1080p. Hopefully it's 60 frames per second. Hopefully they don't do 1080p 30 frames per second for an HD port. Uh, Wind Waker HD was 30 frames per second with some dips here and there. Um, I would like to see them go full 60 frames per second since this is an HD port more so than a remake. So I would love to see that. Hopefully they add some other stuff. I think what they won't tell you is that they're probably going to add a hero mode, which they've done to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, which is really good. Um, they're probably going to add some stuff to speed up the beginning. I think they're going to add something to where you can speed up the beginning of the game because that beginning, oof, that intro is like four hours. So um, they're, I think they're going to find some way to speed that up so you can get out there adventuring, get right into that. Probably going to tweak a couple of things. Um, I think the open world, as far as Zelda goes, uh, Twilight Princess, they need to sure that up, make that look a little bit better. Um, and overall, I think it's going to be a very solid package that gives us a lot of good extras. And if you're a Zelda fan, if you, um, and, or if you just want to play Twilight Princess again, and really, there's not going to be tons to play on Wii U in the next few months, but there's still going to be some content there. So I think it drops at a good time. March 6th, I think was the day, early March. So that's not bad at all. We do have a little bit of a lull with no Wii U games after Xenoblade Chronicles X, but Xenoblade Chronicles X should be the game that all Nintendo fans buy. Like, go out there and buy it because there's really not much else to play. So Xenoblade Chronicles X, that will take me all the way to March easily. Between Fallout and Xenoblade Chronicles, I'm booked. I mean, the 3DS games are coming too. Still got to talk about Fire Emblem, so overall, I was super hyped for the footage of Twilight Princess HD, all the content that's coming to that, plus the six beautiful, beautiful seconds or so that we got of The Legend of Zelda Wii U. It's looking so good. I do want to talk about The Legend of Zelda Wii U, what I've found as far as that goes. Um, so the sword, that was obviously a little bit different just by looking at it. The sword was a little bit bigger, and they also had the shield. I do think... Uh, a different show than what you normally get. Um, I do think that this game is going to have some type of advanced RPG or crafting elements that you are going to see in um, that or that you've seen in other games like Skyrim or like a Fallout. This huge open world, you're going to need some stuff to do. You're going to need that extra push. And hopefully, if you have like side quests and harder bosses, you can take your gear, customize all that, and um, apply that to beating the harder enemies in the game. And it'll even be better if something can transfer over as far as weapon skins or gear from Twilight Princess HD. So overall, I was happy with both of the games. I think they're both going to be really good. The Legend of Zelda is going to have an amazing 30th um, anniversary, and I cannot wait to see more of Twilight Princess HD and to play the game, heck, and also to see more of The Legend of Zelda Wii U 2016. It's going to be huge going to be huge so that basically wraps it up for this video make sure you hit that like button if you did like this content let me know you guys want more content like this going forward and also subscribe to player essence for more news reviews trailers tips and tricks we got plenty more content coming up all things based on nintendo direct so uh, definitely want to hit that subscribe button 
All right, so that basically wraps it up for this video, and we will see you guys for the next one. Peace.